Am I on the correct path to YouTube monetization? In this video, I'm going to be sharing my analytics for my YouTube journey to see how I'm doing. I am hoping this video will inspire you to either start a YouTube channel or continue moving towards your goal of YouTube monetization on your channel. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, please continue watching. My hope is to actually monetize my channel by my YouTube anniversary date of March 30th, 2025. My name is Shell. If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your support. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and let's see how I'm doing. Make sure to continue watching because I will be offering some strategies that I have done and I'm going to be doing in the next month to see if it helps to improve towards my goal. And you may find them beneficial for yourself. Now we're in my YouTube analytics. And before we go into my analytics, I just wanna show you basically the three top videos that really helped my channel continue to grow for the month of September. So we're just gonna to go to content. And the first one is the same one that was from last month. And that's best sell carrier right here. And so this one is still getting views. And so for since published June 7th, it's gotten a total of 1,563 views, 67 watch hours and 11 subscribers. But what I'm going to be doing is actually customizing it to September 1st to today, which is October 4th, October 5th, but it'll only go to October 4th. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to show for the month that we're looking at for this video. So you can see just in that time frame from September 1st, October 4th, we had 381 views a little over 17 watch hours and I did get one subscriber. So this one, as you can see right here, the last 40 out, 48 hours, it's still getting views and most of it's YouTube search. This kind of excites me. We're starting to get some from in screens, browse features. When I do, when I get videos from YouTube search, it seems to do better as far as engagement. So we're looking here. And so average view duration, two minutes, 41 uh, seconds. And this is what I'm finding more important now is the audience retention. I don't know if it's true because I'm definitely not a YouTube guru, but I'm wondering if the videos that are shorter, if they're going to have a shorter average view duration. And so that throws things off. And so that's why I like looking now at audience retention because it's giving me a percentage of how much is viewed. So this is 40.9% of it's being watched, which for me is really good. Now let's go ahead and go to the other one um, that was from last month also, but still gave me a lot of engagement and views for this month that really helped my channel continue to grow. And here we are at dividends. So for since published on August 6th, I have 1,795 views, so almost 1 1.8 thousand. And then watch time is 72.7 hours and then subscribers is 18. And you can see that I've gotten one view. So this one really has slowed down quite a bit um, the last couple weeks, but we're going to customize it for September 1st to October 4th. And so you can see I got views 490, uh, watch time hours 17.9, so almost 18 hours. And that's just for since September 1st. And subscribers is six. Now, the next one that is really going strong, is right here, US Mobile. And this one was published August 16th. And so we have 2,052 views. This is the most I have so far for views. I have watch time 98.2 hours. I'm really excited. This one I'm hoping to actually get to 100 hours. That's I'm hoping. I mean, of course, more, but like that's like, oh, please don't stop till at least that. And subscribers, I have 12. Now let's go ahead and just look from September 1st to now. 
And so I've gotten for that period of time, 1,880 views, watch time, 89.8 hours and nine subscribers. And what I want you to see here is let's go back to since published is look how views, it started off really slow. And just look at watch time to subscribers. Look at nothing until I finally got my first one September 10th and I published it August 16th. So what I have noticed with um, my videos that deal with cell phones is it's very slow moving, but it is mostly YouTube search, which gives me better engagement. And this one has the best engagement. Right now it's two minutes, 52 seconds, about the same as usual, but, and average percentage view here is 49.1, but for a long time it was over 50%. So just recently it switched and I do believe that's because I'm getting more browse video or browse viewers. And I mean, that's great too. No complaints, but I just have noticed that when it's YouTube search, better engagement. So those were the three that really helped my channel this month to continue growing. And so now I just want to talk a little bit about my strategies. So I did use music. And I think that's helping. We'll look at my engagement and stuff in a little bit. I don't know if it's helping a whole lot, but I figure it's not a bad thing as long as the music is not um, over empowering the video and you can't hear me. And so I'm gonna continue with the music. I did my best when it came to, uh, in the middle trying to give a hook, like, hey, don't forget to keep watching stuff. But I wasn't that great, I'd always forget. And so I can't say if that has worked or not. The two that I really focused in on for this past month. And stick around because I am going to be sharing some other strategies that I'm going to be using and to see if that will help my channel continue to grow maybe at a faster pace. And so you might be interested in for yourself. So definitely keep watching. And did you see what I just did there? Yeah. I went ahead and add that mid hook. All right. So now let's go ahead and continue back and looking at my analytics. Okay, so now back at dashboard and I want to go through and just review the from the beginning and March and August and then we'll get to September. So you'll see here right now, March 30th to July 1st, I had a total of 5,660,000 views with 113.6 watch hours, 45 subscribers. Now, when I started doing my monthly YouTube analytics update, I started on July 2nd. So from July 2nd to July 29th, my lifetime views was 7,075 with 164.3 watch hours with 64 subscribers. Now, for the just the uh, period of time, July 2nd to July 29th, I had 1,415 views, 50.6 watch hours, and I added 19 subscribers. Now looking at August for my lifetime, 9,341,000 views, 262.9 watch hours with 96 subscribers. For that period of time, July 30th to August 31st, uh, it was 2,266 views, 101.8 watch hours with an added 27 subscribers. Before we get to September, let's go ahead and look at my analytics for lifetime for September. So we're going to switch here to lifetime. I'm not doing 28 days anymore because of the way I'm having to record. I can't do exactly 28 days because with the scheduling of work and stuff like that, and I'm tutoring, it's just really hard to do. So that's why I decided to switch it real quick to just going to when I actually record and going from there and starting at that time frame. So for lifetime, this is March 30th to October 4th. I have a total of 12,600 12, views with a watch time of 415.2. And now I have 126 subscribers. And the recording of this is October 5th, actually, and I have gained some more. But we're looking at when YouTube cuts it off, which is October 4th. So you can see right here, my current 130 subscribers. Okay, so that is for lifetime. Now, looking at custom, so I am looking at from September 1st, just like I did the others, to today, we're gonna apply. 
And I've gotten 3,259 views with 149.2 watch hours, and I have gained 35 subscribers. So from last month, uh, August to September, I've actually gained almost about 47% of subscribers. So thankfully, people are finding me interesting. <laughs> and finding value and so i really appreciate the growth and it's all thanks to you guys thank you so much for subscribing and continuing to watch now looking at my point here was i wanted to really focus in on engagement so let's go ahead and go back to just the dashboard i'm going to go back to my channel analytics and so i'm looking here at watch time and we can see that it's going up. And then we had a little period of time here, not so great. And then we're going up. And so that's why I was like, I don't know if the music is helping or not, but it's not a bad thing to do. Um, I have found that I need to work on, and these are my new strategies, is that, to be honest, I was watching a video and I was listening to myself and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really, I, I space my words too much. And I know a lot of it is because of just my nerves. And I want to make sure, especially when I'm talking about my stock market videos, I want to make sure that I'm saying the things correctly because I am new to the stock market. And my videos are directed at people that are beginning. And so when I have just a little bit more knowledge, not I'm not an expert. And so I want to make sure I'm giving you valuable and correct information. So I know I kind of like pause and I'm kind of thinking about my stuff. So I just need to practice more. And that's one of my strategies is to try to get a little bit more natural with the video, with the recording. So that's one strategy. And the other thing that um, I am working on is, and this just happened not too long ago. Go to audience. And now I have when your viewers are on YouTube. I didn't have that for a long time. And so I was really excited about that because now I can publish my videos um, where I can see where more of my YouTube uh, subscribers are online and watching, where in the past I was kind of guessing and hoping I was getting a, a good time. Now that I noticed how to do this, what I have noticed is because YouTube is not as familiar with my new time, that it takes a little bit longer for YouTube to push the videos out. So that could be affecting the views overall. Um, we'll, we'll just wait and see. But yeah, those are my two new strategies. Continue working new on this one when your viewers are on YouTube. And also just trying to be more natural and practice a little bit more before I record. So hopefully that way I don't have so much like, I don't want to say boring, but honestly I'm very monotone. And I know that I'm just an introvert too, so it's hard for me to talk. Um, but yeah, definitely more flowy and more natural. And the other thing is I need to keep working on at the, my beginning to just get right into the video, get right into it. So that way people that are new to my channel and they don't know what I can provide for value, they will just click out right away going, oh, she's too boring. So those are the things I'm going to be working on. I am really hoping that those strategies or the old strategies may help you. Give it a try. Your bottom line, just keep trying new things and see what works. So you can see in my video that I am making progress towards my goal, but I definitely need to improve on my thumbnails and titles to get more views. And then I need to continue working on improving my presentation in my videos to keep people watching longer so they don't get bored. But no matter what, I'm going to keep going. I am going to reach my goal of monetization. My, again, my hope is by my YouTube anniversary date, but if it takes a little bit longer, it takes a little bit longer. The point is don't give up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you think anybody else might find it valuable, please share it. It definitely helps my channel grow. Thank you so much. Bye.